Hey guys, welcome back to Backfire. I'm Jim, and today, finally, we get to talk about the most popular rifle cartridges. I've wanted to do this for a long time, but it's actually really tough to get this data. And so I flexed some industry contacts and begged some people, and I've been able to get a pretty cool list. Actually, five of them. So here's our first problem. How do you determine what most popular actually means? Because we could be talking about by rifle sales, by ammo sales, by talk online, etc. And so we're going to talk about five different lists. And then we're going to kind of, at the very end of this video, we're going to put everything together to the overall most popular cartridges out there. So let's take a look at the first one. This is traffic by Google search about all of the different rifle cartridges. So the most searched cartridges out there, what would you think? We're gonna go, this is the top nine. Why, why not 10? Have you never seen Saturday Night Live? Because 10's kind of excessive. We're doing nine, all right? <laughs> all right, number nine is the seven Remington Magnum, 22-250. I'll just show you the whole list. The number one most searched cartridge is the 22 LR. That's pretty incredible that it even beats the 223 and 556 with 308 hot on its heels. This one was pretty easy for me to collect because in a previous life I was an SEO and just did SEO work every day. Those of you who followed me when I was at income school. Uh, so Buzz, those are the hottest cartridges right now. Here's your second list. This is by number of chamberings available. So I went on the market through a whole bunch of different retailers and said how many firearms of all the different chamberings do they sell and here are the numbers the most popular rifle chambering available is 308 winchester then 65 creedmoor 22 lr 300 win mag so 223 and 556 was a little bit lower on this list and that's because I was looking at bolt action chamberings, but there were a few AR things that kind of slipped in there. And so that one's probably a little bit unreliable on this list. Then I went to 15 different custom rifle makers. And I said, you know, what are your customers talking about right now? What are they ordering the most? And then I put their list together to get the most popular for custom rifle makers. This list you're gonna see is very different in terms of what cartridges are on there because generally the people that are ordering a custom rifle, I've gotta think near 100% of them are reloaders. They're way into this. If you're ordering a customer custom rifle, most people are gonna be reloading at that point. And so they don't really care what factory ammo is available. And the other thing is because it's a custom rifle, a lot of times people want something that's a little bit more exotic, a little bit that's out of the norm. Um, and maybe that's why they've gone to a custom is because they can't find it in factory. So here we go. This is the list of the most common custom rifles from manufacturers. 6.5 PRC and 300 PRC top the list. Those That PRC series of cartridges has just been crazy, crazy popular. I was surprised to see 28 Nosler popping up so high on the list. It kind of felt to me like 28 Nosler was really popular three, four years ago, and it's kind of faded a little bit, but it's still really hanging on, which kind of makes sense. So if I were to go on like a very exotic hunt, like I'm going to go hunt Marco Polo, um, then man, at that point, it's just like only ballistics matter. I don't care about barrel life, or whatever. Like this is a once in a life. I just have to make the perfect shot. Yeah, it's probably the 28 Nosler. It shoots like a laser beam. The tra trajectory is so flat on that thing. It's very resistant to wind drift because you can get very high BC bullets in the 284 and it's super, super fast. It is more recoil though and so you do have to have like a purpose-built rifle for a 28 Nosler. You really don't want to get just your very, very lightweight build and then uh, chamber it in 28 Nosler. Ah, it, it was a mistake for me. I, I went too light on that rifle and I didn't, didn't like it as much. So anyway, surprised to see 28 Nosler kind of hanging in there. Very, very popular. 30-06 is kind of a funny one. 
Some of the custom rifle ma makers told me that it's you know very common they make 30 out six all the time. Others said, oh, I haven't done a 30 out six in years. It really kind of depends on who their clientele is, especially if your clientele is a little bit older, love the 30 out six and a lot of younger guys too, but a lot of the younger guys tend to kind of look for the new hippie cartridge that's out there. Next, we're taking a look at ammo sales. This is this is like the Shangri-La. This is the number that is really, really hard to get. And so I'm glad that I, I've been able to, to get this one. So most common ammo is 22LR. It's everywhere, everybody's got it. I was not sure if 22LR would beat the 223, but it did. Uh, 22LR is higher than 223 Remington in uh, ammo sales. 6.5 Creedmoor uh, comes up next. That I think surprises no one in terms of pure bolt action rifles. Uh, yeah, 6.5 Creedmoor is pretty far above everything else right now. 300 Blackout it ties with the 30-06 in terms of ammo production. Uh, the reason is 300 Blackout obviously fits into an, an AR and they're just very high volume shooters. If you're shooting AR, you're just shooting, you know, you're gonna go burn 200, 300 rounds uh, in an hour, in two hours at the range. And so the 223 and 300 blackout just get produced at such high volumes that it brings them up. Even though the number of rifles chambered in 300 blackout is probably way smaller than some of these other cartridges. And bringing up the rear is 308 and seven rim mag. I was surprised to see 308 that far down the list. I expected to see that one up very close to the top. Yeah, I, I don't have an explanation for that one. That one doesn't seem quite right to me. Then we're looking at rifle sales. So this is people looking at new rifles today. What are they looking at getting it chambered in? This one's kind of interesting because the ammo sales uh, is influenced a lot by what rifles exist today, right? People still have grandpa's 243, 30-06, as well as new rifles. But people who are buying today may be looking at something a little bit newer, more, more hippie. I don't know how else to put it. All right, so in terms of rifle sales, it's 223, 5.56 um, on top. 6.5 Creedmoor beats the 22 LR in terms of just number of rifles sold. Then 6.5 PRC. That one surprises me too, not because it isn't an incredible round. You guys, I love 6.5 PRC like a lot. You know, for mule deer, for odd ad, for whitetail deer, you know, for really anything in my mind smaller than, than elk. It's fine if you want to use it for elk, but it's not my choice. It's pretty tough to beat. It's really great. I love 6.5 PRC, but it's very difficult to get ammo. And so I'm surprised to see interest that high in 6.5 PRC rifles, even though, you know, you go to a gun store and it's half the shelf is 6.5 PRC right now. 6.8 Western makes the top 10 list. I love 6.8 Western. So the jury's still out on 6.8 Western. I think it's an amazing cartridge as much as I've studied the ballistics, but we'll see if it takes off. So now for the main event, here we go. We take all of those lists and you give a point to each cartridge according to where they show up on that list. And now we say, what is overall the most popular rifle cartridges in existence? Well, number one, according to all of those criteria, giving points, right? Number one is the 6.5 Creedmoor. Hate it or love it, it's just true. For me, I shoot a ton of 6.5 Creedmoor, a lot. It's common for when I get rifles sent to me from companies for review that they're gonna send it in a 6.5 Creedmoor. It's usually the first chambering they make and that's why I have a lot of rifles in it. It's also just very comfortable. You know, if I'm gonna go shoot 60, 80 shots to go test a rifle, it's nice to not be testing it in 300 rum. And it's, it's just ubiquitous. People are just, it's everywhere. So 6.5 Creedmoor even beats the 22 LR according to all of these combined. 300 Win Mag is way up there. You know, if you're looking for a 30 cal Magnum, it's the 300 Win Mag. It just kind of stands out a lot above the rest. But I'm interested to see over time how, how 300 PRC could give it a run for its money. 6.5 PRC, and you can read the list down there. So those are the most popular rifle cartridges in existence. 
I've got an article at backfire.tv with all of these rankings and the different numbers that you can check out. Thanks everybody for joining me in this video and we'll see you in the next one.